how alcoholism, drunkenness, affects the family. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Breanne. Well, well, well. You know, I talk a lot about a lot of different subjects, and I've actually talked about this before. I've made probably close to 7,000 videos now. And I think one of them was called The Town Drunk. And as many of you know that story, I had several stepfathers, one of which towards the end was amazing and wonderful. And he was an amazing stepfather. But somewhere in between, I had the drunk, the drunk for a stepfather. It was a short-lived marriage my mother had, thank goodness. But um, he was the town drunk. And about three nights a week, he would get tremendously drunk tremendously now this is back in the early 60s I guess you know when I was growing up and it was awful I have to tell you because I was what five or six years old or seven or eight or whatever whatever age I happened to be at the time and he was a bit younger than my mother and so on Friday night she had to go meet him to make sure that she got the paycheck, otherwise he would spend it at the local honky-tonk bar and get drunk. But, so we'd have to sit in that honky-tonk bar and they'd give me a bag full of quarters and I'd go play the same old song, these boots are made for walking and that's just what I'll do. <laughs> and I did, I think everybody in the honky-tonk bar absolutely um, didn't like that song anymore because they played it over and over and over and over. Maybe it had some deep meaning that I wanted to run away because I didn't like being in the bar. I didn't like bars and to this day, I don't like to be around that. And so we had to go pick up the paycheck. And then when finally he came home at one or two o'clock in the morning and I was asleep, I would hear arguing in the kitchen. And then it would turn into more than that. And then I would have to get up out of bed and run way into the backyard, back weeds. It, we had like a lot of weeds way in the back. And I would hide out there in the weeds um, at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And until my mother and him, you know, my mother, he would be yelling at her and screaming at her and ranting at her and raving at her and raging. And finally, after he fell asleep with his drunkenness, then I could come back in and go to bed. Now, that's no way for a child to live. And that truly traumatized me and affected me growing up. And fortunately, my mother did divorce him. And then she married the wonderful stepfather, who was amazing, who was everything you would want in a stepfather. And... But that drunken stepfather um, was a very traumatic experience, especially at that fragile time of being so young as I was. And it took me years to get over it. It really did take me years to get over it. And I did, and I am. But to this day, I don't like to be around any kind of drunkenness. Um, so I carry with that my memory. So if you're a person who has an alcohol problem, remember it affects more than just you. It affects everyone in your family and everyone you're around. From my house to yours, may God bless you, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.